Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be finishing part two of What Remains of Edith Finch. So far we've explored, I think, Molly's room, a little bit of the house, you know, just the layout of the thing, the house, just to see what's going on around here. <laughs> Molly, we, we, with Molly, we went on a trip, okay? We turned into a cat, a bird, shark, you know, we just turned into a whole bunch of stuff. And I was confused this whole entire time, like, was she starved to death or something like i don't understand what happened because it's like we went to a whole circle we came we left the house came back to the house and she said that she would be delicious I'm like what does that mean did she eat herself or something like what happened so we're gonna figure out what happened next we left off at, in the grandma's room grandma Edie. so we're gonna finish off where we left off so without further ado let's get to it okay so we just finished exploring the grandma's house and when I just, Edie told people ooh. sven was killed by a dragon she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. So yeah, we uh, learned a little bit about Finn. This is Finn right here, the husband. Edie's husband. Edie, Edith's grandpa? Yeah, I think so. So yeah, he built this house right here, the replica. Meanwhile, the original house sunk. But um, Odin, Edie's father, built the original house. But yeah, you can see right there, Sven Finch, built 1937, the same year Molly was born. And we saw this... Even in her 90s. Ooh. Sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Oh yeah, so Dawn, okay, that's Edie, Edith, and Dawn. Dawn is Edith's mother, okay. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. It was a pretty big trace. I can tell. I mean, look at this. I can't even imagine the smell. Like, ugh, pink. I mean, I like pink, don't get me wrong, but this is just overkill, in my opinion. There's ducks, so. What is this, baby toys or something? I can't see my reflection. Is that supposed to happen? Oh, what's this? More secrets. There's a secret in this bathroom by Sven and Edie Finch. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Oh. That's nice. It's a whole other room back here. Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. You like photography? <laughs> Selfie. So this is Sam, the grandpa? Calvin Finch, yep. 1950, 1961. Yeah, he was 11. That's sad. There's, the, there's a swing. Milton? Milton all over the place. He must know everything. Oh, is this Calvin and Sam's room? Oh, we in it. Yeah. Calvin. Sam. Oh, so Sam was in the military. Well, he was into it. Is he smoking? I hope he was not a child smoking. <laughs> yeah, I know he did survive longer than his brother Calvin, their twins. So yeah, he outlived his brother. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. Yeah. And that he never talked about him. I like the layout of this room, I mean, I would never leave this. It's so cool and unique. To Commander Center. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Oh. Oh. He liked space, I think. How space. I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember 
is that when he made up his mind, that was it. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. <laughs> At Barbara's funeral, we swore he'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. Oh, tell me this. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Stop! Calvin! Dino's ready! Coming! But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. Do what? Don't tell me he flew off the... I told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Alvin, I'm not gonna tell you again. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Oh. Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. You're going a little bit too high. I think he'd already made up his mind. To do what? That's what I want to remember about my brother. story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. I could never do that. <laughs> you know, swing is too high. So yes, Calvin, he flew off the cliff on the swing set. Oh, is that the swing set we saw outside in the backyard? The one they said that was older than his, her mom? Damn. So we, who, who else is left? Sam, Walter, Barbara. Oh, wow. It's just sad. After the funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Oh, is that what we saw the rope? How'd we get out of here? Mom home. said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. Oh. That's probably what we saw the cigarettes. He was probably smoking then. <laughs> oh, hold on. Wait a minute. This house just got a whole bunch of stuff. So many rooms and secrets. I'm claustrophobic. The passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. Barbara's room. Milton, he was in here too. Oh yeah, she was a child star. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. My friend Bigfoot. So she wasn't, she wasn't a young child. She wasn't in my, what was that? <laughs> she had a whole job in there. It looks like a diner. Is that a cake? Barb Street. <laughs> I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. I mean, being forgotten that quick. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one.
Old Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. Oh. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Oh, at 16, she was all washed up. A has-been. Oh. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> mm, getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... Ah! That was a good now scream. that was a great scream. <laughs> exactly. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was canceled. Okay, I'm hearing Yikes. frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orcas Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're Ooh. right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles in secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and oh. winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. Oh, boy. So Barbara went to look for him right on cue. She reached for the music box. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick. Oh, I'm but the oh, house I'm was silent. <sighs> now I had to mute the music just in case that it was copyrighted. So sorry in advance. Don't tell me he went down here. If he got down here, he gone. I say forget about she it. She found Rick's crutch and imagined the worst. I see blood. Is that from Sven when he cut his hand? Oh, we can hit. Okay, we got a weapon. Hello? The gang's leader is the infamous Hookman killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. Ate his old family? Hello? Rick, where are you? If I find you, I'm going to hit you. That's not obvious. The old fridge rattled and grew still. Oh, hell no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Rick? Look, I come out swinging. Barb, now. relax. I was just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you Oh! She threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was <laughs> still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... Who's that? Walter, what's going on up there? Oh, Walter. Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. Interesting scream. He just made. <laughs> so, we'll... what's that? Oh. So I'm assuming it's Halloween from the decorations. I see like, yeah, pumpkin skeleton. It must be Halloween.
That wasn't suspicious at all. If I get jumped, I'm gonna be mad. Hello? It's Calvin's room, right? Yeah, well, I mean Walter. Walter, I see it's Calvin. Walter, are you there? Hello? Walter vanished. But his bedside radio was still on. I'm gonna say, what's that noise? Orcas Island police described the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. Barb returned, saw the hook man, and was speechless. He was quite smashing. <laughs> Smart. He, was. he couldn't get enough of Barbara. Where's okay, Walter? Barbara, there's got to be another way out of here. Oh, yeah, but this. That Whoa. Night, she played her part beautifully. I mean, she's smart. Oh, wait, we in Molly room. The only way out of Molly's room is through the window. Molly's door hasn't been opened in years. The hinges grow. moving but she sensed the story might not be over yet yeah I wouldn't be surprised if he got up we're gonna finish him off why was he in our house and how did he get in see I knew it had vanished she listened for his breathing but all she heard was What's going on? Where'd he go? That fast? I ain't hear nothing. Someone at the door was dying to speak to young Barbara. At the door, she heard whispering. Don't open the door. It was coming from inside the house. Ooh. Oh dear. Surprise! Bravo, Barbara! You were wonderful! We love you! The monsters had come to surprise her. For what? Barbara, it was a dream come true. Then she saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. Whoa. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara was magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter, hiding under his bed the whole time. Really? He took it all pretty hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her... Hmm. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. <laughs> <laughs> they will have the ear. That's petty. <laughs> Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered. As absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. What's happy about that? A child just died. Another child has died. It's three kids already. So what happened? Did she like get a home invasion? Killed her or something? They never found the body. All they found was an ear. Oh, we know she probably could have been kidnapped. 
Unless they found the body. Get out to the door. Nope. Oh yeah, sealed. <sighs> and Walter was hiding. I mean, I can understand that he had, he couldn't really do anything. I guess now I know why Mom didn't like me playing with the music box. I mean, I know he couldn't really do much, but the fact that when Barbara came into his room and called out his name, he didn't respond. And why was he already hiding? He probably already... Did he already see the hook man? The hook man? Before she did? Because she, she fell asleep. So I'm assuming he snuck in like that. It just don't make sense what really happened. Is that still locked? Yep. Okay, so we got Barbara, Molly, Calvin. So who's next? We check those. I just, I don't know. I'm, can I say I'm confused? Probably not. Maybe a little bit. Can we still do this? Oh yes, okay. Said so keep winding. Oh. We can finally go in there. Saving. There ain't no hook man down here, is it? I can turn back now. Look at spin room. Well, workshop. Mom said the basement was off limits. Unless I wanted another tetanus shot. Yep, he was the handyman. I was gonna say handle this, but <laughs> let me stop. I saw Edie sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. Christmas? I thought maybe she was hiding presents. Yeah. Oh, this is the fridge. Rick was hiding in. It turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. What's this? About to get jumped. Oh, I remember scary. asking mom once about where Walter had gone. Oh, yeah, where did Walter go? She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. Cereal. If there's a pattern in all these stories, soup, pea soup, grape jelly, it's food down here. Tasty beans. I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Oh, it's a Walter. So he must have been down here this whole entire time. Yeah, he probably lived down here. I hear that radio. You got the radio? Walter, 1952, 2005. So yeah, he outlived. The rest of them except Sam. Goodbye, everyone. Oh. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. 1968. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Having a schedule, living for today. I always expect it to be dead tomorrow. But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything. It's the rumbling. <laughs> Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. He's 
been down here for some years. Did that really And then one out? day, everything just stopped. 2005. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. True. What are you eating? Peaches? It's been a week now. The longest in 30 years. 30 I'm done years. waiting. I have to leave. Well, I still can. 30 years? On the run? Whatever spooked him that much to hide under here. It's probably what's making that noise outside. Or did it just imag his imagination? Man, he got food. That's probably what Edie was taking down here. Food. For him. I know it's out there somewhere. So why is she, in why is she encouraging this? Whatever killed Barbara. And Molly. And Calvin. Huh. Ugh, I hope that's not where you use the bathroom, but again, why if if she's bringing food down here to him and she knows he's here, why is she encouraging it? Why couldn't she just say, like, there's nothing here? Just come back up. Why is she encouraging it? Huh. Maybe Why this is, is all a mistake. But I need to stop living the same day. Even if it kills me. He's breaking free. <laughs> Whatever's out there, I want you to know I'm ready for it. So that's what we was hearing? I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. I don't mind if I only have a year left. Or a month. Or a single week. I think we I'd should get happy off the train track. With one new day. I can already imagine the sun on my face. Um, sir? Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. Exactly. The mom, Edie, she was just, she just let him stay down here. How did they find his body? So she just assumed he died? I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. 2005, yep. That's sad. There's a train right there. Wow. <sighs> Just keeps getting weirder. I hope no train won't come and get us. Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. But if she never told me about an uncle under the house, I can only imagine what else she was hiding. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. Yeah, because... Trying to bury something that's still alive. Let me just hurry up and get out of here. Now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two, I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself. Who's she talking to? And found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse, we made it real. Oh, Walter. Train tracks, yep. Yeah. 
So I guess the train not here anymore. Oh yeah, that train gone. What's that over there? I see that red light. What's that? Is that a chair in a tree? I don't know if I should even be writing this. Are these stories true? How Maybe it'd just... be better if all this just died with me. But I thought you should know about your family. Your family? And the history you're a part of. Though to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. I know she ain't talking to me. But she is. I think the people in these stories believed them. For what that's worth. So what are you gonna do with the house if you don't own it? And when you look at the house, that history of imagination and stubbornness and madness, any of it seems possible. Oh, we're on the other side of the fence. That's where we can see the swing. Yeah, there it is. Calvin was on that swing. Are we in the backyard? I think we've been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? True, that's a good question. It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but the pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. Ooh. Three of the gerbils are mine, and two had been my fault. Ooh. Zerpy, lurpy, furpy, chirpy, burpy, derpy, derpy junior. <laughs> Dogs in there. Would you say gerbils? Hamsters? Got just that quick. <laughs> Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. You got Molly, the cat, Calvin, space thing, Sven and Edie. He he didn't live that long. 1964. Walter. Oh, that's nice. Can't walk in. That's a nice one. Barbara. Where the rest of them at? I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. I just don't know saw in that little history thingy. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Yeah, what is that? Oh. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. Oh, this the old house? side was always easier for me to understand. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Sam Finch. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. That's Sam, Gus, and Gregory Finch. That's Sam. That must, that must be, um, 
Edith's grandfather, Sam, I mean Don's father. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. Louis Finch, Sanjay, is that the dad? Her dad, Edith's, Edith's dad? Milton. We never found Milton's body, so my mom insisted we were putting up a monument, not a tombstone. You must have been an artist, a paintbrush? got a crown on his. So much death in his family. It's a curse? There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday. And find everything out for myself. Up here? We were as a cat with Molly. The table was chasing after the bird. But looking back on it now, looking at what? if she told me there was going to be so much climbing, I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. You're pregnant? Oh, so that's who she must have been talking to, not me. She was talking to I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. Yeah, she was talking to the her child. So this is what te technically remains of Edith Finch, her unborn child, or a child. Uh -oh. They were both pretty intense. This is getting deep. Whoa. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to end it right here, guys. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you hit that like button uh, and subscribe. So thank you all and see you all next time. Bye.